And welcome to Gate City Chronicles. I want to introduce my guest from Her Place. Is that the name of it? Yes, it is. And uh, Dana? Yes. How do you say your last name again? Valandre. Valandre. Is it? OK. Did I say that right? Yeah, well, the way I like it said. OK. Valandre. <laughs> huh? Well, welcome to the show. Thank you. So we've been trying to get you on for a little while. And uh, you, you've had a lot of uh, growth going on, uh, getting everything in order to, for, to come out and talk about Her Place. So let's talk about Her Place. What is Her Place? Her Place. Her Place is an eclectic group of women who have come together. Uh, we're Rotarian style in our uh, cause. We've come together to pool our resources and help other women and families throughout society. Uh, we are benevolent focused, and we have some programs underneath us that we f believe are making uh, serious changes in women's lives and helping them to overcome their personal roadblocks and uh, become powerful contributors to society. Personal roadblocks. Personal roadblocks. Um, well, we are really for those women that there aren't resources out there for. So uh, what I have found is there are a whole group of women that are neglected in our society that aren't getting their needs met because we don't fall into the criteria of benevolent focused programs. So uh, women that have had spousal death or have had homeless, uh, homelessness or job upheaval, uh, divorce, serious situations that don't, um, aren't really customized in today's society to help. Interesting. So you're reaching out to them. This is a place for them to go and start talking uh, and, and say, listen, I, I, have, I, I got a GED. Um, I'm divorced. Uh, and I want to better myself. Is this a place to go? Yes, yes. What we are is we're, we're not like welfare, where we're not just a handout. We're actually looking to help women to draw their own roadmaps and uh, decide what course is best for them to stabilize their situation. We are focused on, um, like I said, meeting acute and critical needs. And the way we have set up our program is we've set up our deeper benevolence cause to help women um, with the understanding that those situations have an emotional as well as a mental impact on somebody and it allows the women time breathing room for they for her to get on her feet again. Now I asked you earlier <clears throat> where, where are you located but you said this is a, a web-based uh, type of program? Yes well originally when we started to create her place it was going to be a, a structure a home. Uh, we do hope and plan and our business plan to have actual structures down the road. Mm -hmm. But what we've actually been able to do is we've been able to take women all around the world and bring them together in a closed facilitated discussion group. Uh, it's kind of a female fight club where, where what is said in her place stays in her place. The right. women are able to share at a deeper level than I think that is society uh, acceptable um, without any judgment or fear of ridicule for her situation. And then, in turn, the women in the group look to pool resources to help enable that woman to situate herself. But is this done all online, or is this done in person, or are there meeting places? We are starting to gather meeting places. We have been bringing smaller groups of women together throughout the society. Uh, it is done mostly online, um, though we do have situations where we meet face-to-face. -face. Right. Um, our closed, we, like I said, we have a closed facilitated discussion group, and that has actually been in place since April of 2011. Um, now that we are actually moving forward in the real world, we're actually looking to put our first woman through our Glimpses program, which is our more benevolent focused deeper needs program, uh, which is a nine month program. Um, and that will actually start bringing our resources to uh, you know, more tangible than just an online discussion group. We'll actually be providing for her immediate needs, and that's how the program's going to work going forward. What does a typical member look like, or not look like? What is the makeup generally? How do you become one? What, what are you looking for? Is it open to everybody? Her place is open to everybody, but I have to say that not all women like the format or the discussion uh, the way we have it set up. Um, we really speak our mind in love. Um, the group is not a pity party. It's about, um, I mean, somebody can come and let loose about what's going on in their life, but we're certainly not going to sit around and give her tissues and tell her, you know, we're going to help her have the tools to move out of her situation into a healthier situation for her. Right. Uh, typical members, um, we have actually looked to draw our member base from the entertainment industry, musicians, artists, um, entertainers, writers, uh, just because they're more creative, I feel more susceptible to their environment, more compassionate, empathetic. Though, as we are now starting to grow in the real world, I'm finding women from all over and all walks of life want to be part of it. Um, it's a pretty special group. 
Are you apolitical? We have no political backing or parties that we are supporting. We are completely on our own. Good. So totally independent. Completely independent. And, and so basically, people come to you, they, they, they want to get involved in, in better themselves. Uh, they tell you their plight, they talk frank with you, and you'll talk frank back with them, with other people pitching in. Is that, do I understand that correctly? Well, our close, again, can't discuss what's said in her place, or I'd have to kill you, but um, with our closed discussion group. Be the first person who said that. <laughs> our closed discussion group um, is really about women just kind of getting things off their chest in a safe environment. Right. Um, when it comes down to our actual programs, which are our Glimpses program and our Create program, they are more focused. Our Glimpses program is more about helping women to uh, have the resources that she needs to move forward, whether that comes from the experience and expertise of the group itself or outside contri uh, contributions and donors that will actually help on our advisory panel for her to figure out her own roadmap. Is this your idea? It is my idea. Why did you come up with this? Um, I had found myself in 2010 in a situation where um, I had felt um, there wasn't support for women in my particular situation. I was very accomplished in my own uh, walks of life uh, professionally. Um, I just found personally I didn't have a support system that could really back me when things were uh, coming that I couldn't handle alone. Um, so I had to really go outside of my network to find women who could relate to what I was going through. Um, better yet, just be there for me while I went through it. What kind of things did you look for? What, what, what were you looking for? You don't have to name names or anything like that, but you, you, worked, you, you said you stepped out of the network of, of the women. And, um, what did you have to look for? I had to look for women that were non-judgmental, that were accepting in their lives, um, that weren't expecting something of me. Um, one of the things that I found is when <clears throat> I was actually making decisions, I started creating Her Place, and I had personally fallen on some hard times as soon as I started creating it. And one of the things that I kept hearing from people was that I should stop creating it. And um, I wasn't really backed or supported to continue to move it forward, though I had found these women, I had started reaching out to women all over the world, and I had actually found these women who not only were supportive of my ideas, but were um, also in similar situations in their lives where it was beneficial for them to be in this facilitated discussion group and have discussions back and forth. And it was really the relationships and behind the scenes that progressed us forward to where we're at now. So where do you plan on taking this for the next three years? What's your goal? How do you plan on building this? Well, I've created Her Place, my uh, executive director position, to be a three-year term position. At the end of the three years, um, any projects I have outstanding, um, I'll get, be allowed a three-month allowance to uh, complete it. I'm going to be creating a position within the organization called the Executive uh, Membership Director, uh, Membership and Marketing Director. And I am going to promote the organization as well as oversee the members eventually. Um, I feel that the programs that I've uh, set up so far, I believe, are the current issues that women are facing, though I don't think that is the end of the journey for women to keep on empowering each other and growing and meeting the needs. Um, I look at things and I can feel overwhelmed with years of digging in and create fam and her place and glimpses, but I feel that in three years, I think the person that's going to be best suited to take over will have to vote in, and then I will move my position over. Now, this being, a, there, it is a web-based type of program at this point. How do you know somebody's a woman that, that's coming online? You know, I have to say, having this discussion group and reaching out to people around the world was a very scary thing when I first started doing it. I was reaching out to women that were in hostile areas. I wasn't sure what our political stances were, where, where these women were, for, were from. Um, but what I found is the hearts were always the same. Um, we've really looked to, I've kind of closed down the membership a bit. Um, we've really looked to uh, verification who, you know, referred in. We try to check background. We've been pretty fortunate. Nobody's actually really tried to break in her place. Um, we've had a lot of different opinions about uh, her place because we don't talk about it. At one point, somebody from another country actually said I needed to shut it down, um, that there was it was a concern and I should shut her place down right away from another country. So I wasn't really sure what they thought we were talking about in these groups, but um, 
like I said, we can't guarantee that the it's all women in the group. And if there is men in the group, they are they are certainly getting an earful. So <laughs> creepy. It would be creepy for somebody <laughs> to spy in her place. <laughs> but so. it, the whole, I guess the whole idea of, of her place is definitely to help women um, in a safe environment to reach out to them where people seem to be falling through the cracks. Do I get that right? Yes. You know, what we found is there are our, our traditional programs, our government-assisted programs, aren't really doing the job. You know, they're more blanket solutions. They're not customized. We are far from a blanket society. I mean, we have so many situations that are happening right now. Mm -hmm. When I hear of men committing suicide, it's become a weekly thing. Uh, I have a couple of friends that have lost their husbands in the last couple of years. You know, you're, that's a whole new situation. You know, never, not to mention the devastation that's been caused by the war, the, you know, the stress on, you know, women that are just overwhelmed and handling things and this push from society that our brains are broken. Um, I think one of the things with her place is we don't have that philosophy that women are broken. Mm -hmm. We actually feel like we're emotional beings and, you know, we go through things and we learn through them, however that might be, and then we move on to the next step. Uh, some of the organizations that seems to be failing people, is it, are you saying it's the government, it's, it's women's, what's failing? What, where, where are they falling through the cracks? I think it's the relationships and mm -hmm. the honesty. Um, women aren't, are, I find in society in general, people are very judged. People are judged for their pleasures. People are judged for their actions. They're judged for their words. And I think that a lot of the programs that are out there, yes, there's some that the government isn't supporting, but I think the ongoing relationships that we have in her place and the accountability is what is actually going to set us apart than other, relation, than other organizations. Does it cost money to be part of her place? Um, we are, at the moment, we are uh, deciding our membership base, and we will have women, uh, will have a nom nominal dues uh, eventually starting in 2013. It's going to be like $99 a year. But women are going to have access to all of our resources. All my sales and marketing tools will be in our knowledge base. Women will have pooled resources from other members. They're going to have different supports. We're going to find discounts from different companies for our organization. We expect her place to be a very big deal. So some of the benefits are marketing, marketing one's resume, or marketing? I have extensive training. And one of the things that sets her place apart, aside from other organizations, is me. I'm probably one of the most trained individuals you've ever met. I've been very fortunate with my line of work for my companies to always send me to additional training sales, leadership, marketing. Um, so I am... These are some of the benefits that you'll pass on. These to. are exactly... So basically everything that I can pass on, I will be passing on. I have also worked in staffing agencies, and I understand resumes, and I have those resources. So we will be helping women in that way. Our Glimpses program will actually be set up to help women. We'll have, we actually have a woman that's going to be on um, who actually handles women dressing professionally and presenting them professionally. She'll be acting as an advisor. We're going to have culture advisors. We're going to have spirituality advisors. We're going to have um, budget programs. We're going to have uh, basic living programs for these women. Right. So you'll be the ultimate resource, basically. I will be the ultimate resource. Would you, I, would you be considered a headhunter as well? Well, they do consider me the headhunter because I bring in new talent all the time. So <laughs> I am looking for new talent all the time to our, to, for our organization. We are going to promote all of our members through our membership base, through our website. Our members will all have links to their, web, uh, to their own businesses. They'll have tools for their businesses. They're also going, our newsletter will promote different members. We're going to have a magazine eventually. So we have a lot of things. And I think you know we also have a TV show that we're going to be right. creating as well. Now, this is an, an anti-men's group. No, not at all. I love okay. men. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, the, uh, the reason I say that is because, you know, people think of women's groups, you know, you think of the, the National Organization of Women, you see uh, other, other women's groups. They're not there to, to disassociate themselves from men. They're basically there to be a, a tool for women to empower them, and that's what you're trying to do here, correct? Yeah, well, we're looking to bring, we're looking to help women to overcome whatever roadblocks are in their lives to become powerful members to society. So we're looking to empower women, both professionally as well as personally. However, that is going to look for her. Um, like I said, we are seriously about peer peer relationships, camaraderie. Uh, we look for like-minded men and organizations that want to support us. We're going to be doing a lot with charitable outreaches. 
Uh, the event that we have coming up, we're going to be actually benefiting Bridges, which is actually a women's safe house that's been underfunded by government, the government right now and their budget. Mm -hmm. So we're going to actually look with a silent auction. We're going to be donating the proceeds to that, to their, uh, to their organization. So we're seriously looking to, to break down walls and whatever divides people against each other and bring people together. And mm -hmm. obviously we feel women are the key to that just with, but women today lack the emotional support behind them. Now, your TV show is going to be called? Her Place. <laughs> Very good. How unique. <laughs> Very good. How do people get in touch with you? Uh, they can reach us on our website, www.her-place.org, or they most, that's actually the best way, and then uh, access us by the Internet that Will way. Will they be contacting you through that or through uh, somebody else? Well, or? we have a VP of Community Development, right, a Director of Community Development right now that's actually overseeing our member volunteers and our website. We are looking to gain resources in all areas. Uh, one of our programs is going to actually have an intern mentor program, which is going to develop our website and our databases. Um, so initially, things are going to go through Caitlin, who is our director of community development, or me, if you were actually to call the phone number on there. Uh, eventually, though, we will have a team, and it will be more filtered as we become more you know, legit in the real world. Well, you're already becoming legit. You made Gate City Chronicles. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Is there anything else you want to share with our viewers? Yes, news? yes, yes. Uh, we actually have an event coming up. It's going to be September 21st, 2012. It's mm -hmm. called State of Our Women. Uh, it's going to be an afternoon luncheon filled with fun. We have a uh, comedian starting us off, Lena Susco. She runs the Comedy on Purpose. I'm not sure if you're familiar with her. Very funny woman. She also is a, a dream coach and, uh, and, and an Athena's goddess, actually. And if you don't know what that is, you can look it up. And then we have uh, Michaeline Delaferra. She's going to be speaking. She has written six books, two of them on women in politics. Uh, she's spoken in Washington and a few mm -hmm. other places. She'll be speaking um, at our event. Then we'll have um, a guest speaker speaking on current women issues that uh, we're seeing, lack of government support, lack of tra uh, traditional support programs, and a luncheon. And then I will come up and I'll introduce her play. So it's going to be a really fun afternoon. We're looking for sponsors, donors, and tickets are $50 a piece. So and that's September? September 21st, 2012. It's from 12 to 3 at XO1Elm in Manchester, New Hampshire. Wonderful. Thank you. Well, thank you for coming on the show. And if you're interested in, in learning more about her place, please give a call. And uh, again, I wish you the best. Thank you so right. much. We'll be right back.